And what is there is interesting. Yeah. yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Season 47 Chalice Round 1 shtick with his vampires versus Eludius and his wood elves. There is a natty one-turner here uh, for the woodies with sprint and sure feet. It obviously they start with sprint, <laughs> sure feet, leap, uh, and, and movement 10. We've got a blodge stepping guard catcher. We've got a guard catcher with a niggle, is that? Yep. Uh, we've got Dancer, we've got four four loners and uh, vampires with two Edge 5 vampires, a Mighty Blow one. And in the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello! Hello! And the vamps have a... No, no, the the, the woodies have a wizard, which makes more sense. <laughs> they haven't got a lot going for them, this team. <laughs> that up a couple of times yesterday uh the <laughs> fact that the woodies were the ones with the wizard not the vamps which makes sense because the woodies team is absolutely trashed and the <laughs> vampires team is kind of stacked yeah so they, they must have also bought a mercenary lineman right because they've yeah, got 12 yeah. players yeah so they, they were I down i don't think they have a babe no no yes this stand firm is uh is something that you know, I think somehow my subconscious uh, ignored it because what the hell is this? How... <laughs> You've got blood step guard and then you take stand firm. That is not what I would have done, but uh... no. Uh, I think uh, there was a listing when I uh, when I streamed this game last night um, on which skills you'd rather not pick than stand firm, <laughs> and uh, I think we agree that the Someone in chat won when they listed multi stab. Yeah. Multi block. The guy at the ball, he's got he's got sure hands, hasn't he? That's okay. Yeah, sure, I mean sure hands pass catcher is definitely. Oh, he's got like pass. Insane. Oh, I thought it was a thrower. <laughs> yeah, you think that because he's got pass, but no, it's a, it's a catcher with sure hands pass. And oh. Like obviously, why do you pick pass? Can't you just hire the player that comes with pass on your mm. roster? Um, but I mean. It's not the worst, and it's not the worst player on the pitch. The worst built player on the pitch. So you can hmm. you can actually do stuff with that. Like having a movement eight player with pass can do stuff. Right? I mean, it's so, pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I think yes, it's the worst. I guess he's not as bad as a you, journeyman loner. <laughs> I mean, journeyman loner. You have a player that pays. 10k extra for a skill that already has a skill that does the same thing. Wait, well, yes. <laughs> yes, I mean, he's wasted 30 TV, but he's still blodge step guard. He's wasted 30 yeah. TV just with sure hands. So I think the other one's still That's a better funny. player. He's, he's, he's wasted less of a percentage of his TV. <laughs> I mean, taking sure hands on a catcher is good, right? Because you, you yeah. want to be able to pick up in, bats, in tackle zones at times and stuff like that. And having the sure hands is great. That. And then just like, yeah, just some kind of uh, strip ball protection and stuff like that. But you could have had block on that, which would have probably been better yeah. if you want him to like be protection against strip ball. Yeah. Um, why did the Natty stay on the bench? Well, so he doesn't die, isn't it? Like, I mean, okay, you could give him the yeah. ball, and and that could be a good thing, like <laughs> because I mean, if you hit, get your ball hit, you're probably going to lose anyway. Um, and you could try and score quick and stuff, but I guess his his obviously his reason was he, he somehow nobody will get hurt, and he'll be able to keep him on the bench until he scores his his one turn. But I mean, the the fact that you're down so much TV, like what he's down two fifty, right? Um, Maybe you should be putting him on and just bang it in early. Like, I wouldn't have even hated trying to bang it in early. Yeah, um, because... I'd like bang it in early here, but... Um... Yeah, no, I think that's the best to play. Uh... It's like, you're... Even though your team is shit, it has two good players, and what do, are they good at? Uh, well, banging it in early. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's literally what they're good at. And Vamps are uh, quite good at defense and breaking up cages and breaking up, like, yeah. normal drives. So they're not very good at disrupting elf drives, like, you know, banging in early elf kind of stalling. Yeah. You know, they're just not good at dealing with that, so... <laughs> very good, Goliath. Um, yeah, so... It is what it is. Yeah, Norse country, we've got space, plow, and fall. Hello, Hancock. 
but no, I'm, I'll, Daedal will get in JFW eventually. If I've just got to make him, <laughs> which is easier said than done. And then you can have a proper a proper thing instead of the Northman. <laughs> <laughs> Northman is amazing. I think it fairly accurate, accurately depicts me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what you look like. Uh, <laughs> the, I mean, the thing is, I like him a lot more when he stood here, to be fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, uh, it, it is what it is. I'll try and get... I'll try and get, I'll try and get a... Uh, the, obviously, the desk smash can be the finisher or something. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a feud with Elp. We can have Elp return to the seagull and feud with Deirdre or something. So there could there could be things could happen for sure. Thanks, Team Antilla. Yeah, I couldn't believe when PC brought up bolt ons. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> when PC brought up what? Bolt ons. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Oh dear. Wow, going for the foul. It's a bold move, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, Amazon's confirmed. <laughs> and he did he foul with a journeyman or no? I think he might have fouled with a non-journeyman. No, surely not. Surely he must have fouled with a journeyman. Um, like this is a good player, isn't it? Like so, it's fair fouling him, I guess. But he's made, he's made some removals already. I wouldn't have hit... I guess the thing is you can't really protect him, right? If you, if you have him on the field, unless he's the one with the ball, you just can't protect him because they can just gaze somebody and hit him with a mighty blow, probably. So, Or at least tackle. So... They do have a mighty blow, don't they? He's hiding behind the tree. <laughs> yes, Hancock, the dong, the dong comment got me. That got me bad. And now he's putting the Rackler in. I like that, just a you know casual threat. And he's got the tackle ready to do something. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not watching at the moment. Uh... Yeah, it's it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry, Dado. <laughs> Yeah, it, make, it does make the elves do something. Like, they have to do something. And then it's probably to move into this area where you've got three vampires, two of which have tackle. So, pretty decent, I would say. Well, four vampires even. Five of them, like, all vampires in striking range. I thought this was a pretty good... Pretty good, uh... Pretty good move. I would have definitely sidestepped closer and further away. Because surely he's coming in next turn for the ball. Oof, this is a really good player to bite, but I guess he's got to. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of shit, but you have to. Oh, oh grab, cancel, sidestep. Of course, he's got grab. I didn't even look. I didn't even look at the skills. Yeah, he's got grab. Fair enough, then. So there was no choice. He should have pushed him there, though, right? If you're grabbing, surely you go there and not there. So that, I didn't like that push. Maybe he misclicked. Yeah. There we go, tackle on the ball. Kaz is in. Four. Should he have gone? Could he have gone? Or was, was he in the way? If he was directly behind, he was in the way of the mighty blow, wasn't he? Because you'd rather try and... Oh, wow. Fail the pro. Because <laughs> I don't know if his route was blocked. If his route wasn't blocked, you'd rather double dodge and come in with the mighty blow, wouldn't you? And then try and recover the edge five. Yes, WR Spenny, yeah, there are some interesting skill choices. Yes. Yes. Um, Eludius making Rick look positively not reckless <laughs> with his skill choices. <laughs> but what, what a scatter catch in the rain as well. Ridiculous. And that, that massive commitment, maybe he got space cadetted a bit there. You know, that was a big commitment, wasn't it? Two vamps and then the third one in. And that double... Well, not double one. One and fill pro. 
should should get in the stall, probably. Maybe. Maybe not, I guess it's so easy to just gaze people, isn't it? The thing is, he can't, he can't go for that. Um, pick up, right? Going for that pick up is insane. And I don't know. now where are your tacklers? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if how, how much is, it was blocked with the Arch. If the Arch 5 was blocking the Mighty Blow, I think you should have blitzed with Mighty Blow and then gone to recover with Arch 5. I think you have to make a couple of dodges with the with the Mighty Blow. And also, like, you just really, really want the ball down there. It's so good on the ground. It's going to be in a tackle zone, almost guaranteed. And then in the rain, like, it's going to be a 4 plus, four plus pickup. Yeah. Uh, unless you move that one. Like, and the thing is, you can still move around players. You, can, you still have players to move around. Yeah. Why are you attempting that pickup? Like, you can just block every escape. Like, so even if they pick the ball up again, it's not going to be good. I just, I hate it so much. <laughs> well, we've got uh, some easy dodges away because the tackle is not. Oh, the mighty blow isn't tackle. Oh my god, why is the mighty blow not tackle? All right, sorry, I didn't. I I naturally assumed that the mighty blow was tackle. My bad. No, of course you don't. You don't go with the with the mighty blow. You go with the tackle. I thought it was mighty blow tackle. My I mean, apologies. The ball doesn't have block, right? So it's not entirely insane not to go with tackle, but no, I wouldn't have dreamt of it if I. I just didn't. I just assumed he had tackle. So, no, I, no, I would have yeah. definitely gone with the tackle like that. Yeah. I don't know if you're drunk or whatever, but I'll just... Sorry, what? I'll what just, are you dreaming? I'll just help. I'm just going to... I'm just going to time him out for 10 minutes, because... <laughs> yeah, it's still... He definitely needs that. At least. <laughs> I have no idea what he's there. Help me, in my humble opinion. Yeah, Elf always deserves a ban, to be fair. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, getting diced a little bit here. So I'm getting a little bit tilted. No. Well, don't scream. Don't scream, dead, no, Or at least at least put push to talk on and, and, and don't yep, push yep. if you scream. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, casual uh, uh, three dub skulls in four terms. Nice. To start the second half Defending after I lost the heat. Uh, despite it, you know, having played three times as many games on my feet as they have on theirs. <laughs> so, yeah, this is nice, isn't it? All the gears here, so you can get in. Sorry, all the gazers. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, wow, so he's good. He's, he's, did he re roll the Bloodlust? Yeah. Had to. No, he didn't. He didn't reroll the bloodlust. He's just off. He just took the blitz anyway. Um. Okay, is that worth going for? Maybe. Like he might just roll the power. Maybe. I just, I just can't believe he's got the mighty blow without a tackle. To be honest, like. I just don't know how you take Mighty Blow and they're not tackle. I haven't played a lot of Vampires, but what I have played of Vampires, it's, oh my god, how much do you need tackle? Because your whole game plan is knocking over ball carriers. It's like yeah. it's like the yeah, whole only, thing. Only having one tackle is kind of rough. Yeah. Um, I would have probably taken a second tackle for the Mighty Blow. Um, yeah. You'd rather just attrition through fouling. Hey, that's good, his, his stupid stand firm guy died. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but why didn't he act with that? Well, maybe he realizes deep down in his soul that taking stand firm on <laughs> yes. it was so bad that he should be punished by death. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hopefully that. <laughs> I 
like, and I, honestly, I hate, I hate the Mighty Blow without Tackle. I just assumed he'd got Tackle before the Mighty Blow. Like, I saw that the Mighty Blow was the most recent thing and just thought he must have a Tackle Mighty Blow. It's yeah. the only thing that makes sense to me. I was wrong. But see, like, this is my issue with the whole first half, right? Um, he goes in, he, he waits clumped up in the middle, uh, letting Eludius' burn turns. He goes in with a half-hearted pressure, uh, but sends forward his tackle uh, thrall, which, like, all right, that puts the right amount of pressure on, I guess. But then, like, because you have the other tackler back. But then you go in with the sack with the tackler, and, like, all right, you still have the clump, but you cannot, you cannot, after burning the reroll, go for that ball pickup. What does it add having an inner axe? Like, you're still gonna be stuck on the Rackle strip piece. <laughs> yeah, the ball's yeah. Not, the ball, even if you pick it up, it's going to leave your hands as soon as you picked it up. Yeah. So, it's just insane. And then, by doing that, when you fail it, you give up everything. Okay. There's nothing left there, right? Um, the entire half, because you kept, you you don't have the pieces to recover. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's just it's just pure insanity. I don't. <laughs> and I want to let you know also, like, for those that don't understand how frustrated I am by this, <laughs> that these guys took three minutes per turn. These turns that you're watching, all of them took three minutes. Every yeah. single one of them. <laughs> I just want to say I'm pretty sure this is incorrect. Uh, he's just moved this guy in here. I'm pretty sure this guy was in the wrong place. I'm pretty sure I had to go there. Because I'm pretty sure I had to move this guy sideways here. Um, but uh, he's powered anyway. Oh, he's got sidestep. Yeah, but it's still not enough, right? I'm pretty sure I had to move this guy forward. And then... It was a terrible one-turn defense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the offense is hard, right? Because he's movement six. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that guy, he had to push this guy forward, so that he could then he could make the last hit. I'm pretty certain. But yeah, it was terrible. Terrible. It's like literally he facilitated the only way a movement six one-turn could be made with that defense, yeah. which is not good. But you know, never mind. <laughs> never mind, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, like literally, it's facilitating the only way it's possible, right? The only way it's possible is with a clumped LOS. So if he, if he just puts that that out like one apart, there's no one turn. Ah, maybe with sidestep. Very difficult though. Very difficult. And like to be fair, maybe he wants him to try for the one turn so he doesn't just punch things, you know? Like if he gets a mighty blow hit and another hit and then a big foul, you know? Maybe that's maybe that's worse than him going for a one turn and failing. So you know. Maybe it was okay to try and tempt a move six one turn attempt in the rain. With fans that, you know, can bite each other and stuff. Maybe it wasn't that bad. I know a guy who <laughs> didn't defend against one turns at all, one chalice. <laughs> yeah, and didn't punish him at all either. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, got away with it. No problem. It's a brilliant strategy. Yeah, it worked, so it had to be good. Yep. That's how that <laughs> works. Therefore, it was right. Oh, I hate my dice this game. I hate them so much. <laughs> Thing is, I've got a good record here as well now. I just bit Hiru Matsu, but you lose to someone that's not as good as that. A gaping hole. Gaping hole. Yeah, your opponent rolling bad dice is always the best strat. Yep. 
So if I go audible, that was all very weird. I had to join them. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> you, what are you know doing to poor Dave? Yeah. He's lived through this game once already. <laughs> so have you, PC. <laughs> it was so good you both came back for more. No, no, this, I'm off. I'm off for a cigarette. This is purely an intervention. <laughs> Let the poor man go. Get Kegel on in or someone else. Someone else has to find something to say about this bloody game. You can't make Daedal do it again. He it's volunteered. Right. He requested I'm, I'm this particular it. game, Daedal. It's not right. It's not fair. <laughs> he requested it. I'm not watching it, PC. I'm deliberately playing my own game at the same time. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that's slightly less awful for him. Yeah. I, I am not staying. I am off for a cigarette. I might pop back in later, but yeah, having, yeah. having wrapped up, I need to you know save things and get them all to the right place. Glorious. And then deal with the you know 15 different messages of why are you talking such bullshit and all that. <laughs> so, uh, just the standard end of a end of a podcast moment. Brilliant. You that, weren't talking such bullshit. Pizza. The loony, the loony from uh, Reddit was something, wasn't he? I, I like that guy. <laughs> Strange as this may seem, at the end of an episode, I usually get if it after the live episode, I usually get three or four people with some nice comments and one person telling me what an absolute arsehole I am. <laughs> um, well, that's, pre that's pretty <laughs> decent. Fair. That's pretty decent. Uh, the arsehole people generally tend to care a lot more than the thank you people, don't they? So that's 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 not only a bad if Andy Davos around. <laughs> <laughs> You can, yeah, so you there's know. being two people now, PC. Obviously, you're going for a cigarette, and I can't type in chat. <laughs> can't do you banned again? You know that. <laughs> yes, yes. Elp, Elp got banned again for uh, just ten minutes. <laughs> he started off a bit. Just ten minutes. He started off a bit rowdy. You know. All right. Well, well let's calm him down a little bit. I mean, who, who am I to uh, who am I to criticise? I've been banned from all sorts of places. <laughs> Can we make it longer? <laughs> oh, um, uh, yeah, squirrel. I mean, I, I guess you're riffing on the fact that on um, if you look at the, the YouTube content. I mean, I tried really hard to try and keep them to at least an hour and a half, and my ideal length has always been to aim for about an hour but have had a couple of comments asking why they aren't longer and I, I just don't you know I mean Joe Rogan does his sort of four hour ones doesn't he and no one wants to hear four hours of me wittering on about Blood Bowl that's not a thing really I four hours plenty long enough yeah the average Joe Rogan is about three to four hours and the bits sure. that go up on YouTube are usually just the 20 minute highlights mm. No, it's one of the things he does really well. Is he does it, it's it's a long form discussion, so it doesn't feel like he's introducing you know really you know hot button topics or here's what your book's about. He just talks them about loads of stuff, and then you know in the middle of that there'll suddenly be twenty minutes that could be really interesting, and that's the bit that goes out as the YouTube mm -hmm. highlight. A lot of work like, thought to find that twenty minutes. Is... That was a sick fireball, by the way. Yeah, every single one whiffed. Yuck. <laughs> I don't even right, see I'm off for my cigarette. Right. I shall leave you to find something to talk about in this <laughs> joyful Blood Bowl experience that you've uh, committed yourself to. Yeah. Well, I may, was, I may talk back later. That was one, one of my favourite moments of the half. After the, av My absolute favourite one was obviously when the shit uh, catcher killed himself. Yeah, 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 that was that, the best uh, one. Yes, and then uh, this failed fireball is also hilarious. <laughs> so that's my second favourite part. Yeah. Oh dear. Are we comparing PC to Joe Rogan? Yeah, why not? I mean, I, I also find it interesting, like, how Shtick creeps slowly up the pitch. Like, what what is his game plan here? Well, um, what what do you want him to do? I want him to bang it in and then steal the ball. But if you bang it in, they'll score on you again. Like the the problem is the problem with the, for the vamps that. is elves are just elfier he's than gonna you. He's gonna score. He's gonna score in a, on you anyway with that natty. True. True. Like you're fucked. Well, yeah. Good point. So do you want to lose now or later? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Because at least vamps might like be able to, might be able to defend. Yeah. And the and the yeah. wizard's gone now at least. Yeah. I mean, now you tricked out the Wiz. Like, before that, alright, maybe the Wiz is annoying to deal with, but... 
I really don't see what you're waiting for now. I mean, you're probably mo he's probably less likely to score than with the Natty than he is to score with a proper drive. Did you just reroll a random gears? Um, maybe. Yes, but you're also. Yeah, you did. Yeah, that like was bizarre, the, 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 the the problem I have with that line of reasoning is that you take away your own agency, right? Then you're saying that no, I'm not better at this game than backlining. That's my skill cap. Well, you're not saying that. You're just saying the odds. You're just looking at the odds, aren't you? And and how powerful his team is, and how good he is, and you know what the odds are, and everything. And you can work it all out. The fact it's in the rain. Well, it's not in the rain anymore, is it? The fact that it was in the rain would have helped, could obviously, make that less likely. Uh, but it's pretty hard to score. It's pretty hard to stop competent players scoring yeah. touchdowns. Like it's pretty hard. Like yeah, I don't think that's a slight on somebody's play skill. I just think it's really hard to stop, especially elves, scoring touchdowns. <laughs> I, I agree, but... Big gang foul now, though. That's good. But hey, it's just weird, I guess. You really need to just, like, get a stop on defense, I guess. And because he hasn't, I guess you just you just make it 1-1 and hope, hope that Natty fails. <laughs> wow. Well, that, even if that's... I just... Let's not be mean. That's, that sounded mean with that sentence. But, um. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Plus, it means you could, like. You could you could activate Vamps less here, right, on offense, which, like, he's not activating Vamps less. But you could, you could activate Vamps less and try to, uh. You know, try to protect your players for overtime. Oh, wow. Take out the Natty. Now, that's a good strategy. I like that. Yep. I rolled, I rolled the large of goblin after my hero game, and I just won the game by throwing the goblin. Nice. That job, and it, it succeeded because he's that job. Nice. That that was that was real nice. The, the hit on the ninety. So now, fifty percent of the now now your odds are definitely in your favor. Because he's only fifty yeah, percent. Taking, the, taking out the natty, yeah. Now now obviously we're doing that. Um, obviously made the right play, right? Yeah, I don't know why he followed though. Like the follow was horrendous, but yeah, great that he's great that he surfed him, but an insane follow. Yes, yes, insane follow. He might be going for the surf. Do you shoot a play, guys? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's gonna surf the vampire. We are all shocked. <laughs> Should have uh, not followed them and gone here, right, to protect him. But maybe, I guess it's not. But he's, he's not stopping the score, but yeah, 50 50, you've survived the 90. Yeah. Pretty, pretty nice trying to hit him. Did, so, you, yeah. did you already have the turn where he. Uh... Re rolled the hypno gaze in order yeah. to foul the war dancer. Oh, that, that was, was the uh, dance. Yeah, I didn't like that. That was insane as well. Just leave everyone, right? Don't, don't you just leave the vamps. Just don't act. Don't activate them. Yeah, he's, he's activated them every single fucking turn. Yeah. The entire game, every single vamp. Yeah, don't activate. Are you surprised? Them. How are you surprised that you're out of thralls? Yeah, do not. There was absolutely. What has this guy achieved? Just leave him there. Just leave your vamps there, mm. and wait. So he can rackle a dancer. It's a rookie dancer. That's that's not worth it. He can get this vampire served. Oh no, sidestep. Okay, he can't. He can't get this vampire served. <laughs> <laughs> He, at least he's got the sidestepper there, but still. How big is the vampire's bench? He's, he's eradicated his bench um, with all these vampire activations. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So potentially he's got a bench of one. Ten to twelve. Yeah, don't activate them or let them run off the field, yeah. That's a little dangerous against elves, so I would have just not activated it. Yeah, like, he, he made a... He cast himself there for, like... It added nothing. Like, 
It just wasn't worth the risk, right? Moving him did not yeah. add anything. No, but it, it, and it's been like that so many times, right? It's just so many unnecessary activations. Yeah. That would be my advice for shtick. Would be don't keep activating vampires. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, I said this last night, and I'm, I want to say it again. Like I, I love Shtick and I love Valerius. Both of them are tremendously nice people. But there is some weird shit going on in this game. It's <laughs> hella boring to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously a lot worse for you watching it in real time, in three minutes yeah. every time. Yeah, because they were like, both of them were they were seriously taking full time every turn, both of them. <laughs> for doing nothing. Like you see how little action this has been, right? Yeah. Oh I saw it a bit LB, it was. The simplest turns were still three minutes. It was it was horrendous. Like I endured yeah. some turns in the booth and it was it was yeah, it was really rough. Like the simplest turns were like three minutes every time. I'm coming no, on not to you. stream now. Glorious. Just roll my level ups. Yeah, not getting the natty back. Pretty, pretty hilarious. Mm. <laughs> Waiting, holding out worked. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to one turn with uh, five, six players. Movement eight. Even with a quick snap. I'd be very. Well, maybe, maybe the grab. No, the grab doesn't really help, does it? You, quick snap, he could score. So I guess you protect against the quick snap, maybe. <coughs> yeah, quick snap. <coughs> quick snap arrived. Honestly, with three sidesteppers on the line, he probably should have just done like chevrons, right? So that he's more protected against the riot. I think that's the play. It's like I think that's what Rick should have done. Just defend against the riot. I mean, yeah. I said that before I knew there was going to be a riot as well. By the way, <laughs> oh no, it's watching. Oh wow, it's ripped the reins back. Um, because I just thought the one turn was that unlikely that. But of course, I have misjudged how easy one turners can be before in the past. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Right, back in a sec. Uh, sending my guys over to you. Oh, glorious, thank you. So we've got overtime. How exciting. This isn't bad, is it? This isn't bad. This has only been 33 minutes, you know? Like, yeah, getting overtime at this time. point isn't isn't the horrendous uh, shock of it. It would have been watching it live and it taking an hour and a half of already. <laughs> thank you for the raid, Diddle. Welcome, Diddle viewers. Glorious. To a match that you've probably seen too much of already. <laughs> Dadle certainly has. Wamps lose the toss. The Natty is back. Yes, now they can definitely want to. Fuck's <laughs> sake, <laughs> Uh, it depends. Probably. You've got like seven dudes. Two rerolls. I'd definitely leave the option, right? He's got wrestle, so it's easy to get him down. He's got grab, so you could just punch him there anyway. So there's, you've got lots of ways to get through. You've got him yeah. to pick it up. Him to catch it. Hey, Justice Smith, I really, really, <laughs> really did not. <laughs> yeah, the, the problem is the fail state, right? The problem is the fail state if you fail a one in nine catch. But I guess you just go for it. I just, I guess you just go for it. So yeah, I guess I would have gone for the for the one turn. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't hate that. Um, I don't. 
I don't know if I don't hate that. <laughs> I kind of hate it, but I understand that people do it. Yeah. With now, now, is, now I don't what, think you can go for the one turn. No. You need to make a one D loner block. No, no. If if it was if it was raining, if it wasn't raining, I would probably go for the. Go for the one turn here. Oh, no, you probably still can. You the probably still is, can. Why has Stick not put a guy on the tree? Why yeah, yeah, that's insane. That's insane. Tree. He's got a grab, so he just blitzes him off. And then you punch him. Yeah, he'll loan a 2D. Fine. So you can block these two both off. And then he can catch on, what, a 4 plus with a reroll. And then you can leap score. The thing is, it's, it's so easy. Like it's it's so easily stopped. Yeah, yeah. You, you just, just, you just stupid you fucking roll there. Yeah, yeah. He just goes one forward and you stopped it. But this you is too easy. Ridiculously, you have you have thralls to spare despite activating every vamp every turn. Yeah. Yeah. You so just got handed a freebie to like all right. I guess the problem is the pass, right? Because the, he hasn't got. He didn't have anyone over here. He should have had somebody over yeah. here. I guess is the problem. Like actually getting it. So yeah, so the actual going for the one turn I don't hate. But the problem is like you've got uh, it, this guy would have had to like long bomb it almost or he'd have had to like long pass it at the dancer. So like either way it wasn't it wasn't very good what you're gonna have to do. Are you not you just do that? <laughs> yeah. So you should have put somebody here. Probably. Probably should have put somebody here and somebody here. And then I mean to be fair, the tree rooted anyway, so Doing the one turn, I mean, now it's horrible because he's got, he's got two players for every one of yours. He's got oh, one player. Obviously, it's not a worse defense. I'll <laughs> be insane. <laughs> but you still you did a mistake, and it could have gotten punished on a better kick for for Luis. The thing is, like, I, I, th I genuinely think with that setup and that kick, going for the one turn might have been his best, best job. Yeah, maybe, because like, how do you it, score it, otherwise? It, 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 that's, that's the main yeah. thing, right? It's not that the one turn is good. It's just that what the fuck else are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. But the kick stopped it, right? Um, but if the kick had been better... I mean, you still might just have to go for it, right? Go to the sideline, lob it to the dancer who was about here. I mean, you should have set up better. Which kind of fucking turn order do you do? Yeah, you should have set up. It's like... Wait, another cast. He set up his offense after, right? And... He literally set up so that he could still win on a perfect D and do it on a perfect D, but then he didn't do it on a so, mm. Like, what, what, what's the point of setting up like that, then? Yeah. Um, yeah, he should have blitzed the Mighty Blow. That was kind of crazy, not blitzing the Mighty Blow, wasn't it? I don't know what he was thinking there. Yeah, it's... Just then you still move the Vampire in there. Wehey, hey Paravail. Wehey. hey, hey. Yeah, he stood there marking him. Why didn't he? Why didn't he hit him? He's got my e bow. <laughs> nice pair. Oh, this loner was. Oh, you made the loner and then rolled the boat down again. Yeah. Rough. There might be a hit on the ball. That's too right. There might be a hit on the ball. Like, all right, get, just how do you hit this ball? It's a cheer fire, isn't it? Unfortunately. Yeah. So. I 100% want to try and hit it with the uh, Agile Vamp. Um, no, I hit it with a Rackle. On a GFI? Yeah, yeah, you got to. Rackle's you lose! Too good. You lose yeah. something. Rackle's too good, mate. You've got to power him. Like, you have to power him. I guess you 3D him. Mm, I guess it is a 3D, isn't it, with him? Because you've gazed him. You can gaze from behind. I'm coming from behind. You can 3D with tackle. Oh, there's the tackle here. Oh, there's a tackle behind. Oh, you said Edge 5, and I was like, well, that looks stupid. The Edge 5 with tackle. Yeah, yeah, the Edge 5 with tackle, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, I I was just looking at this Edge 5, and I'm like, no, it with Rackle. Yeah, no, obviously, the, the fucking tackle. Yeah, it would be insane to go with that 
Yeah, I was like, what do you want, Dirtle? Right, I did, you know, Edge 5 <laughs> didn't narrow it down enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Because uh, if you if you sneak that game fight with the Rakovat at all, you lose the game. Right? Yeah. And he just walks in and GG. Yeah, but it's a, that's a one in thirty six chance. You know, like sometimes you got to take those. Like it's a three percent. Yeah, risk, but was but... this was this the time to do that? In my opinion, you do it with the bat because like Brian tried to do it. Obviously, like you, you gaze the yeah, yeah. I would, I would, I would gaze, I would gaze the back. Yeah, I mean, if I, if I'd seen that, what well, that was the tackler there, which I would yeah, have done so if I was playing myself. You, you, you try to get, gaze the dancer first, and then, then yes, and then if you, if you, you if you have to, if you have to blitz with him, then you blitz with the rackler. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure which is even better, to be honest, because if you don't power, you don't win anyway. No, that's true. Well, he's got a chance anyway. Sorry. Oh, now he gets surfed, and now it is over. Yep. How many turns do you think till uh, vampires can score? Oh God, probably ten. <laughs> uh, well, I guess you just keep it safe this turn. Like one, two, three, four, five, five more turns. Uh, there's no need to rush, right? There's no need to rush. So pretty close, Wolf. Thank you. Thank you, Wolfbox. So pretty close, yeah. Obviously far more chance of a, of a bad fail state with the 2D Rackle. Yeah. Yeah, Skrull, yeah. The, the random act, vamp act, act activations are absolutely horrendous. Yeah, there's, there's literally no reason to do this faster than... Five, six turns because just play it mega mega safe. Kaz all of you guys with yep yep here we go. <laughs> Kaz all of you guys with the bloodlust. <laughs> I guess yeah there is a motivation to go a little bit faster to not kill everybody with bloodlust. <laughs> that is an idea. Maybe you don't want to kill everybody with bloodlust. But I mean, the threat, the threat now is uh, an uphill 1836. Yes, yeah, he's got no skills left, has he? So you just want an almost potato. Like almost potato, I guess, so you've got less activations total. I mean, the, the thing is, the, the the activations don't really hurt you either, in a way. Uh, well, you can cast them, right? You can you can permanently can kill your thralls, which isn't great. No, you can't. You, you, it's only a badly hurt in a bite. Is it? Is that is that a change yeah. that happened? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember people wanting that change. I I played that little vampires. I didn't even know. No, it's only a badly hurt. <laughs> oh well, that's good. Learn something every day. <laughs> <laughs> you can kill them now, though, right? With animal savagery, you can kill them. Yeah, because that's a block. Now nah, I used to be able to cast them. Probably living real book four. There's how much I care about vampires. Ugh. Oh, well, if you know only badly her, then yeah, you take as long. I guess, I guess it's kind of bad to <coughs> lose all of them for like having the score. Yeah. It did just change in 2009. Fair enough, Rolex. I mean, that's... Come on. Who who pays attention to vampires, honestly? 2009 is basically yesterday. It's yeah. a year after I graduated. Uh... There you go. Basically yesterday. 2000... I mean, I remember being 29. It was pretty great. That's probably it. That's probably it. Yeah, it was pretty brutal, but... <laughs> Thank God, guys. Literally yesterday. Yeah, man, <laughs> No, they didn't have Journeyman. Oh, L Living Rubik 4 was horrendous, by the way. Like, L Journeyman are the best edition. In, like, since Third Ed came out, Journeyman's literally the best thing that's happened to Blood Bowl. There you go. There's a bold statement for you. 
Like, r rules wise, obviously. Jimmy Fantastic streaming was the best thing that happened to Blood Bowl, obviously. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, Journeyman was just incredible. You know, you mean the addition of Journeyman to the game? Yes, the Journeyman mechanic, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that is a pretty fucking good mechanic. Yeah, because before it was just horrific. You just start with like 11 players or 12 players and then you would be like, oh, now I've got nine players after game one. Brilliant, start again. <laughs> or like eight players after three games and stuff. And then like, oh my God. And people were yeah, just starting matches horrendous. with like five players. I, I played someone on Fumble. He had like, he had literally like an elf team or something. You just start with seven players. Like that was his team. It was insane. It was fucking insane. Yeah, Journeyman was, was living with book 5 slash CRP, yeah. Yeah, they literally did Wolf Bar. They literally did. Apart from, like, Peak W, who somehow magically had, like, you know, 15 players that were all perfectly healthy. <laughs> but but every other elf team was, like, five players, and, like, Kemri were gods, because they're, like, well, Regen in general was gods, right? Regen in general were, like, yeah. the best teams, obviously. And like yeah, Camry obviously. in particular were amazing. But yeah, Regen obviously ruled supreme. And Orcs were, were pretty strong. And Fowling was ridiculous with Dirty Player and stuff. Oh my god. Well, in, in Living Room Book 4, <laughs> Regen was a 4 plus. <laughs> Yeah, Re Regen was a four plus in Living Rubric four, but yes, originally in third edition, Regen was a two plus, and and originally in Living Rubric three, what? it was, Regen was a, a two plus Regen. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty ridiculous. Look at look at that vlog, by the way. We got halfway there. <laughs> there you Imagine got that's the that's the one in thirty six. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He has literally activated every single vamp, and the turn before this, he stopped one square short of reaching the ends on this turn. Yeah. Uh, he so was he served. Has a to make this turn. Yeah. Otherwise, he could have scored this turn and ended it. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> he's been there for two and a half fucking hours. <laughs> he, has he has the audacity to stop one square short mm -hmm. of taking a GFI for no reason. Mm -hmm. Why could you just crept one square forward? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was no. claw that. Sorry, sorry. There was claw that was plus two to armor and, and razor sharp claws that was plus two to injury. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty powerful. Sorry, should be talking about this exciting game. It's uh, it's over, isn't it? It's over. <laughs> it was over when he served that. Yeah. When he failed the pick. Yeah. Wolves peeing on trees was a very long time ago. Yeah, that was second edition. So there you go. He took the full turns. Why not? Turn twenty-four. That's perfect, isn't it? Like, there was no reason to score earlier. Like obviously you could have done, but. So there were two exciting moments in that uh, <laughs> entire game. It was when the catcher that was built wrong snaked and killed itself. <laughs> and it was the, when the fireball complete fizzled. And, and there was the hit on the natty. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool to dodge through to hit the natty. It was, it was a pretty good spot that he could, he could dodge through and hit. Yeah. Hit. But I mean, it's also what he spent the entire half trying to do. So yes, if he yes. Hadn't, it would have been pretty... Yes, it, it would have been, been pretty, pretty bad. Sad, not to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, there you go. That was that was a match. Uh, congratulations, Shtick. Commiserations, Eludius. Thank you very much, Daedle, for the core commentary. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and thanks, <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>